Question 6. Question 6, it says the diagram below shows a solid made from a semicircle cylindrical base with a rectangular prism above it. The diameter of the cylindrical base and its width are 4 cm each. Calculate the total surface area of the solid. Now realize that the solid have a prism and a cylind and a like a semi-circular cylind cylind cylindrical shape. So all we need to do is to find the total surface area of the solid, it's just equal to the total surface area Sorry, so to find the total surface area of the solid, right? We can find the total surface area of the rectangular base prism and add it to the total surface area of the um cylindrical base down here so it's the total surface area of the prism plus the total surface area of the cylindrical shape but the total surface area of the prism is length times width times height right so that's four no i'm sorry i'm sorry that's not true total surface area that would be volume total surface area is it depends on how you learned it um just for simplicity, I'll go with what many persons are used to. Two times the length times with so four times four plus four times twelve plus. So remember, you'd multiply this side times this side. That give you that face, and it's the same as this face. Then you need this face now, which is twelve times four. Then you need the top face, which is also twelve times. That is the total surface area of the prism. Then now, plus the total surface area of the um, this right here. Total surface area is first thing you have to find is first thing you find is this is why I don't like to use this formula. I like to use total surface area is per meter times length plus two times the area at the end. Per meter of your of this right here. This face we need to find the perimeter. Now, because it's cylindrical, then what do we know? What we do know is find the perimeter of a full circle, then divide it by two. So it's two pi r, right? Two pi r. And then you divide it by two. So it's pi times r actually. So in that case, the perimeter is in that case it is now. Pi. Oh, but they also gave you the formula. They gave you the formula, so you could use this, but I'm just ignoring that either way. So in that case, it would be this right here, the perimeter pi r times the length, and the length of it was 12 plus 2 times the area at the end. The area at the end right here. So remember the area of a circle is... The area of a circle is pi r square, right? So since the area of a circle is pi r square, and this is half a circle, remember pi r square and it's half a circle, so you divide it by 2. So in that case, it's 2 times pi r square over 2. Now what was the radius? The radius is 4. Radius is 4? Let me check it out. This is, what did it say? This is 4. Oh, so the radius is 2. This must be 2, this must be 2. So now we can input the radius as 2. In that case, your final answer is, this is 2 in bracket, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 12 is 48, plus 48, plus 12, pi times the radius of 2, plus this 2 cancel is 2, and 2 square is 4, so that's 4 pi. Your final answer is put all of that in your calculator. Now, um, that's a weird answer. I'm going to leave it in terms of pi for simplicity.
as 224 plus, this is 24 pi and 4 pi. So 24 pi and 4 pi is 28 pi centimeters square. So that's the answer. 224 plus 28 pi centimeters square. Now we need a volume of the solid. Now always remember volume is area of the cross section times the length. Now area of the cross section, area of the cross section, notice the cross section would be, notice the cross section is this, the cross section. How do we find area of the cross section? So in that case, the area of the cross section is going to be, we have to find the area of the square Four times four plus the area of the semicircle and the area of the semicircle is pi r square over two multiplied by the height and the height or the length is twelve. So the length is twelve. So this works out to be sixteen plus two square root four. Four over two is two, so that's two pi times 12. So now we can simplify it. 16 times 12, 192 plus 24 pi. And remember volume is in what? Centimeter cube. Good. Next part. It says the solid is made from gold. And they tell us that one centimeter cube of gold has a mass of 19.3 grams. So notice one cm cube has a mass 19.3 grams. And the cost of one gram, notice the cost of one gram is 42 whatever. Calculate the cost of gold used to make the solid. Now, first thing is um, let's go ahead and work out what well, how much cm cube is in grams. So if this is true, then 192 plus 24 pi cm cube equal to, we'll multiply it by 19.3 to get the answer in grams. So 192 plus 24 pi, then we'll multiply it by 19.3. So multiply by 19.3, we get 5,160.8 grams. Now once we hit that, right, remember what they said. They said one gram costs $42. So in that case, we're going to multiply it by 42.62. And this gives us the cost of gold used to make the solid. So we multiply it by 42.62 and we get this amount. So it's $219,952.68. That's it. Thanks.